In the spring of 2010, Li Weiyi, a wildlife painter from Chengdu, traveled alone to the Ruorogai Prairie in western Sichuan province to collect wines. At a herdsman's home, she overheard a story about the Wolf King. Due to the degradation of the grassland in recent years, there are fewer and fewer animals in the mountains. So the Wolf King had to risk his life to go down the mountain to look for food for the female wolf that had just given birth. Eventually the Wolf King was caught in the herdsman's hunting pincers, and in order to escape, the Wolf King was willing to break off one of its feet, but it was still caught back by the herdsman. The angry herdsman peeled off its skin and hung it on the wall, and ate its meat. Later, the she-wolf went down the mountain night after night to look for the Wolf King, and the herdsman often heard the she-wolf's mournful trenching sound. Soon after, the grief of the she-wolf even deliberately eat the herdsman and put the poison bait martyrdom. In order not to be captured and skinned, the she-wolf even in the dying, will be on their own body for torn to pieces. This tragic story deeply moved Li Wei, learning that there are still survivors of the cubs born to the wolf king and his wife. Li Wei immediately decided to go and look for them. She searched the grassland for three days and finally found the last surviving cub. Li Wei immediately made a bold decision. It will be the little wolf cub quietly brought back to Chengdu to raise and named it Green. In order not to alarm the surrounding people, she arranged Green in a painting room on the roof. Although it looks like a normal puppy, Green is a wolf. And in less than a month, Green began to show his wolfish nature. Not only did he gorge oneself when he ate, but he also had to eat raw meat all the time. Her boyfriend can't help but be a little worried, but Li Wei insists on keeping Green. She believes that wolves are never as ungrateful as they are written in books. Soon Li Wei was also surprised to find that Green has a very amazing ability to imitate and learn. Not only could he turn on the TV and press the remote control by himself, but whenever he saw a documentary about wolves, it would stare at the screen with unblinking eyes. He'd even learn it how to catch fish by following the wolves on TV. However, as Green grew up, he began to yearn for a bigger world. Once Green accidentally ran out and got lost, Li Weiyi was so scared that she rushed out to look for him, knowing that if a wild wolf was found in the city, the consequences would be unimaginable. When she finally found him, Green was huddled on the side of a busy road, not knowing what to do. After the scare, Li finally realized that there was no room for Green in the city. Her boyfriend suggested that she send Green to the zoo. At least there will be a guarantee that Green can survive. But when she saw the zoo, death and bones do not know how long the old wolf locked up. Li Weiyi still can't bear it. For the wolf, freedom may be more important than life. When Green was three months old, Li Weiyi and her boyfriend took him back to the Ruaragai grasslands. It was July, and the grassland was in full bloom. Away from the city skyscrapers, Green is like a new life, running recklessly on the grassland. In order to help Green adapt to life in the wild, Li Weiyi began to teach it to hunt for food. She blocked up the holes of mice and rabbits, leaving only a small hole that could be accessed. Then she asked Green to stand guard in front of the hole. Green was very smart and soon caught his first prey. After that, Green learned to catch mice, rabbits, otters and other food. In the blink of an eye, it had been two months since they returned to the grassland. In the days and nights together and accompanied, Li Weiyi and Green between the emotion become deeper and deeper. The vastness of the grassland and Green's unreserved trust and dependence purified Li Weiyi's heart like never before. Soon, the grassland ushered in his fall and the green was about to usher in its adulthood. At this time, he had already initially acquired the majesty of an adult male wolf, becoming much more powerful and upright. Under Li Weiyi's attentive teaching, green was already able to hunt for food very skillfully. However, in front of Li Weiyi, green was still a baby wolf, who liked to show his belly and pamper himself. In their spare time, they sunbathed together on the grass, snuggling up to each other like a mother and child. In such days, Li Weiyi gradually forgot who she was. Time and heaven and earth. She even began to pray in her heart that Green would grow a little slower. Yet such kamsainas and warmth didn't last long. After a heavy snowfall, winter Dean Roragai came unexpectedly. Temperatures have dropped to the low 30s below zero at their lowest, and food is becoming scarce. Such harsh weather is grim for any kind of creature in the grasslands. After a hailstorm, Li Weiyi got pulmonary edema, and as she lay weak in bed, Green looked worried, guarding the window without moving an inch and even digging his food out of the hole. Because in the wolf's cognition, as long as you have enough to eat, you can live. Li Weiyi immediately rent her eyes, but Green's company didn't make Li Weiyi any better. To prevent her condition from worsening, her boyfriend decided to take her back to Chengdu for treatment. On the day she left, Green ran after the car until it disappeared at the end of the road. From that day on, Green would stand on that road every day, waiting for Li Weiyi's return. Finally, after 15 long days had passed, 
That familiar voice once again resounded in the grassland. Green went crazy and ran to Li Wei Yu's embrace. The short separation had made the bond between them even deeper. However, before she was happy for long, Li Wei Yu realized that something was wrong. At this time, the green no longer had the shadow of a wolf on him. And not only had he gotten used to waiting to be fed, even learned to bark. What's worse, the green showed great closeness to people. Even when he sought a strange hunter, the green would come forward without defense and would not leave until the other party took out a stick to drive him away. This made Li Wei Yi worried. Dogs are fine if they are not afraid of people, but wolves are dead if they are not afraid of people. In order to make Green realize that he is a wolf, Li Wei Yi and her boyfriend are determined to bring him back to the wolf pack. In order to find the wolves, they took Green to the wolf mountain in the core area of Ruargai. The altitude here is 3,800 meters, and the oxygen is 60% of that in the plains. It is a dangerous journey for Green and for them. But in order to let Green return to the place where it belongs, they had to take the risk. In the minus 30 degree wolf mountain, they set up camp for more than 10 days, but did not see the figure of a wolf. It wasn't until one day not long afterward that they finally found the trail of a lone wolf on the mountain. Li Wei excitedly signaled Green to hurry up and follow it. And although Green was confused, he still obediently did as he was told. In less than half a day, Green came back with a full set of injuries. The lone wolf was unwilling to accept Green with a human scent, so it drove him back. Li Wei took out the medicine box to treat the Green's wounds while she was heartbroken, but she couldn't help but worry. Before winter came, it was the day when the wolves gathered. Due to the difficulty of hunting in winter, the wolves needed to cooperate with each other, and this was the best time for Green to be accepted by them. If this winter passes, no wolf pack will be willing to accept an adult male wolf in the coming year, and then Green will completely lose his chance to rejoin the pack. With the help of a local friend, they built a small house nearby and decided to wait patiently for the wolves to pass by. In order to keep Grim's survival skills, Li Wei stopped feeding him and let him go out to look for food on his own. However, before the wolves could pass by, they waited for some ill-intentioned herdsmen, who falsely claimed that Green had stolen and eaten a down scene of their sheep and wanted to take Green away by force. Li Wei immediately refuted the other side, but the other side even took out a sick, want to knock out the Green to take away by force. Li Wei was so scared that she hurriedly shouted at the Green to run away. The poor Green just likes to be close to humans, but for some reason he was beaten by humans. Looking at the Green was beaten, but still could not help but step back appearance. Li Wei Yi heartbroken, it was then that she realized, with a deep sense of wonder, how dangerous it could be for a wolf to enjoy being close to humans. Li Wei Yi realized that she had to get Green back to the wolf pack as soon as possible. That day she walked along the ice, once again taking Green to look for wolves. As she walked, Green suddenly tugged at her pants leg to stop her from leaving. Li Wei Yi was uncertain, who knew that just after a few steps, she accidentally stepped into an ice hole, seeing Li Wei Yi paralyzed and unable to move. But Green quickly turned and ran away. After 30-40 minutes, it actually brought back a horse from the mountainside and used its body to support Li Wei Yi Saturday on the back of the horse, all the way to escort the road to her safe to home, which made Li Wei Yi touched, worried that Green would meet the black-hearted herdsman again. Li Wei Yi went to the local living Buddha and asked for an amulet for Green to wear on her body. She hoped that the people here would treat Green kindly, but she also knew in her heart that such an amulet would only be useful to people of faith. In the late winter, when the mountains were snowed in, Li Wei Yi and her boyfriend were almost out of food, and there were only a few compressed cookies left in the house. They had to secretly dig out the prey that Green had hunted, and put a few compressed cookies in it as an exchange. The natural food protection of the Green found not angry, but obediently ate the cookies. Li Wei Yi and her boyfriend thought that next time, Green would definitely bury the food in a different place. Unexpectedly, the next day, Grim once again buried the newly hunted hare in the same place. He even made a point of looking toward them. This gesture made Li Wei Yi feel touched and guilty. After a few days, they finally waited for the wolves together. Upon seeing his companions, Green stayed put and hesitated to leave. And finally, Green began to howl at the wolves, who noticed him and stopped to respond to him. Green realized that it was time to say goodbye. He looked back with eyes full of reluctance, but could not help but jump into his mother's arms once again. Li Wei Yi held back her tears. In her heart, Green has long been a kindred spirit. Green finally turned around and slowly walked towards the wolves. Shortly after Green returned to the wolves, Li Wei Yi found a wolf tooth store at the foot of the mountain. Inside was also a rope made from the skins of hundreds of fresh wolves. Li Wei Yi was immediately startled. She immediately returned to the wolf mountain. After arriving, she found that the original hunters used dog teeth instead of wolf teeth to sell. The ground is full of dead wolf dogs. 
that death is very tragic. Li Wei Yi really did not expect. In that protected area poachers also dare to be so blamed. After 20 days of waiting, she finally found the wolf pack where Green was. At this time, Green was already able to hunt with his partners before they could recognize each other. The sound of the poacher's guns rang out, and Green and the wolf rushed to Wolf Mountain, which was their only safe zone, and the last piece of pure land for their survival. Green also discovered Li Wei Yi, but at this time, it had obviously seen the ferocity and cruelty of humans. After hesitating, it still broke away from the wolves and slowly walked towards Li Wei Yi. Li Wei Yi knew that this might be the last time they embraced each other in this life. She called out to the Green to let it go back and urged it not to look back. Later, Green became the rightful Wolf King, but his children were all brutally slaughtered by hunters. After overhearing the arrest of Green, Li Wei Yi and her boyfriend returned to the grassland once again. Anxious to find Green's trail, they squatted hard for more than 10 days and found that Green was quietly waiting behind them. But no matter how Li Wei Yi called, Green never pounced on her like before. 